Hello, did you guys ever face the course issue in GeoServer so that your map will not render? If so, then I'll show you how to solve this issue. Let's get started. All right. Uh, actually, this issue occurs so that your Geo server and then the your leaflet application cannot share the resource and then you cannot visualize your map on the leaflet application. It also says that here uh, from this URL, which is the Geo server URL, uh, in your leaflet application, which is hosted on the localhost 5500 port, has been blocked due to course policy so that means it's a uh, blocked uh, with the server setting so we have to reconfigure it and then we have to uh, solve the course issue so for that actually you have to edit the geo server web.xml file uh, which is the configuration file for the uh, your geo server so for that actually you have to go to geo server installation directory and inside web apps geo server and then web.lib web.inf and then web.xml file so i am going to open this file in the visual studio code editor so that i can easily uh, see the text and then easily can edit this uh, resource so for that actually uh, i i want to enable the cards so for that I, I actually i need to uncomment these things so here it's written uncomment following filter to enable cards in jt so for enabling cards in jt so you simply need to uh, uncomment the following this filter so for that it's simply uh, what i'm going to do is i'll, I'll remove this part uh, this commented part and then solve the issue and for the second uh, this filter enabling in the tomcat actually you need to uncomment the below paragraph so that uh, uh, you will uh, you will solve the course issue so now it's uncommented uh, and one more thing actually you need to uncomment this filter mapping as well so it, it says that uncomment following filter to enable course so i just uh, want to uh, uncomment these things and then uh, of course if i try to save it it will uh, try to save as the sudo user so i can save it and now i think uh, it's saved uh, now i can move and then uh, actually before i going i go back so i just want to enable the jsmp as well it will be very useful for the wfs request that means feature request if you don't know about it please watch my previous video on the uh, WFS uh, crash course. So just uh, need to uncomment these things. So I'll just remove this part and then again, I need to save this file as uh, save it as an admin. Okay, I think now it's uh, saved. So I uh, now I can uh, actually, I can uh, just cut this file and then I can uh, now I think I need to restart my geo server for restarting actually I install geo server as a service so that I have to search the service file and then here is my service file I'll search for geo server and then uh, I can double click it and then I can make it uh, automatic or manual I can simply I'll stop it and then restart it that means it will start I think it might take some time to restart so you just need to wait a little bit uh, and then after that if i try to refresh it i think it will activate uh, within uh, one minute within few seconds so let's see uh, how much time it takes okay now it's restarted so here uh, now my geo server is running properly so if i refresh this option so my map should run. Uh, I, I I think I I've unfortunately blocked this port. Uh, so maybe I have to okay restart it. Now it's got restarted. So now my data is loading properly. So that uh, my my course issue is gone. 
so all right in this way actually you can solve the cards issue in windows i hope uh, you enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and then thank you for watching i'll see you in the next week